So I, I started my business in Anchorage, Alaska. Actually, uh, what made me want to own a gallery was I was younger and um, getting rejected by uh, a high-end gallery and um, I'd already been selling in other ones and I was just had my heart set on getting in this one gallery and they had said something about you know me being young and you know come see them when I'm a little older and and that made me so motivated that I, I left that um, interview that day and walked outside and I saw this for lease sign that was right across the street and I was like yeah I'm gonna rent that and I know my artwork sells and I want to have my own space and do my own thing and and I did so it was just that drive grit really I can't I don't even know when I discovered a passion for art just because you know, my mom's an artist and my grandmother was an artist and my dad's a musician and so it was like I just always had an artistic household. I remember when I was a kid and this was right outside of Chicago, uh, you could go to the library and rent paintings. So we didn't have a lot of money and my mom would go and check out paintings and hang them in our house and then when we were kids we'd be like and you'd get to keep them for several months and then you'd bring them back and then you'd swap out for another really awesome painting. And um, so I remember that being like a big uh, inspiration in my life. I think those paintings really helped kind of push me in that direction. My phone is full of photos and um, just trying to remember things that I saw or colors or um, just anything and then just life or circumstances um, you know sometimes I'll, I'll paint like it's a diary piece or just uh, the, the news is inspiration like what we're living through right now is inspiration there's inspiration everywhere so I, um, I think that's why my portfolio is so diverse is because that's how I function is just as an artist is like what what's going on in my life and in the world and you know I have a, a strong use of color and I grew up with a lot of color in my life my Olita would like her whole house was colorful and like and she had like the velvet paintings and lots of you know just color everywhere and it was just something I was exposed to and we would go down to Mexico and there's a lot of color there and you know so I just think it's just it is part of my culture and, and um, something that's always influenced me yeah and that is like actually my favorite thing about painting is is the use of color I'd say my favorite to paint with is oil but it's also with three kids it's also the hardest because it's not safe <laughs> at any point that somebody can rub into it. I, I love painting in oil though because it's just so rich and you can play with it for so long. Um, I also love pastels. I love acrylics. Too. I mean I like it all. What draws me to the artists that we sell is definitely they either just make incredible things, uh, incredible artisans, or they just make me laugh. Like I do have a funny sense of humor, so a lot of the things that you know we carry that different artists make are are funny or just beautiful. So I, I only pick things that I personally would ha buy or have in my home. So. I think it kind of makes it easy. That's the beauty of small businesses too, is it's like they're curated by the owners. So it's not like this just blanket, the same thing across the nation. It's, a, it's just me and 
and I just buy things I like. I like that feeling of community space and knowing your neighbors. I love all the businesses around us. So I just, I hope that um, we're a recognized name in the community in our little Southeast neighborhood and that people talk about us and they enjoy shopping here and they look forward to events and you know, people that can rely on us to be here and to uh, buy art, buy gifts. Um, I think that's my favorite part about the Alaska one too, is just being part of the community and helping out and knowing people's names. Um, I like that feeling. As a new business, you start throwing new events and you start um, reaching out to the community. You kind of think that it's going to be your friends and family that show up and, you know. I talked to a florist that we carry flowers for and we're like, okay, so if we have a wine tasting, you know, we're thinking it's a neighborhood winemaker, it's at night, it's, it's a, um, you know, couples could come and enjoy an evening here where there's art, um, they could purchase some flowers. And then we had the most amazing um, jazz and blues singer and pianist here and um, they were just the perfect uh, vibe for the evening. And uh, I think all together, um, the, it was just the perfect date night. And the response by the community, it, what was so surprising to all of us is that we didn't know everybody. And just the fact that we had so many new people uh, was exactly what we wanted, you know? We wanted there to be a good outreach. So I feel like we accomplished that and it was a great night. And. And I'd say throughout the night, we probably had about 100 people come through here. It was just really cool. And I know that we went through some wine glasses. <laughs> so it was great, great night. What I learned from um, now being a gallery owner, it's, it's been uh, like almost 15 years now. So, you know, at least as an artist, minor in business <laughs> because it's a lot like I had to go through a lot of trial and error and you know taxes and employees and paying different things and workers comp and everything so there's a lot of um, you just a lot of focus and a lot of time that goes into running your own business and then um, it's it's a lot of work but I feel like it's worth it in the end, and it's it's great to to be an artist that um, has sold a lot of artwork, and um, I feel like it's pushed me to keep growing as an artist and keep trying different things. Cause, like, that's what I ultimately want to do is just get as good as I can get. I'd rather do that than anything else. So, you know, with balance. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy balance sometimes. <laughs>